Welcome again to McKenna's Kitchen. Despite the ease of purchasing a roast chicken from either Costco or Kroger, there's nothing that's more satisfying than the smell of a chicken roasting in your own kitchen. So today what we're going to do is make a roasted chicken with vegetables. The recipe itself is from Ina Garten. The uh, technique is from famous chef Thomas Keller. In fact, he uh, was on the series, The Bear, if you've ever seen that, the last episode, he showed the bear actually how to truss a chicken. First thing we're going to do is preheat the oven to 425 degrees. And then what we're going to do is uh, get all our vegetables and put them in this pan. You can be a, a, an oven safe pan or a roasting pan, either one. And the vegetables that I've got are, uh, I've got some um, red roasted potatoes that are cut in half. Uh, I've got some leeks. Uh, we've got a big onion that we've chopped coarsely. And I've also got some fennel, roasted fennel is delicious. And then I've got a, um, a cup of carrots to put in here. And there's, there's a little bit of olive oil in the bottom. We're going to add some more olive oil and that will allow some of the spices. We're gonna add um, salt and pepper to the vegetables. You know, I was wondered why they started up here and Thomas Keller explained that if you do that, um, the, the salt and pepper gets uh, more evenly distributed and you don't get clumps of it. So that's the purpose why they bring it up high and then put it in. So there's about a teaspoon maybe a little bit more of salt and, and half a teaspoon of, of pepper. And now I'm simply, gonna, I'm simply gonna mix this up so that it's all evenly distributed. And then once we get that, what I'm gonna do is I've got some fresh thyme from our garden that I'm just gonna set over the top here. I'll take them out a little bit later, but they'll also help to infuse some of the, the flavor that we're gonna have in these vegetables. I'm also going to use time on the chicken in a few minutes here. So the chicken itself, um, I've already pre-seasoned the inside of it. Um, now, uh, according to Iden Garden, uh, it's nice to put in half a lemon and I've cut that in a couple of pieces in order to fit in this cavity. And then um, I cut a um, clove of, uh, not a clove, but a, a bulb of garlic in half, as you can see here. We're going to put that in. That way the flavoring is going to come from the inside out. I'm just gonna stuff that in there. Now, trussing a chicken is a matter of pulling it all together so that it's all about the same thickness so that all the different parts of the chicken cook at the same time. It's a very simple thing to do once you understand the concept. The first thing I did, and Thomas Keller did, is actually he takes out the wishbone. And the reason for that is that it allows you to carve the chicken more easily uh, once, you're, once you're all done. It, it's down by the, the wing part. Uh, it took me two whole minutes and I had never done it before. The wings, speaking of the wings, I've uh, actually put them underneath and the reason for that is you don't want the wings to be exposed and, and get burnt as the, the rest of the chicken is cooking. So what we do is we've taken uh, butcher's twine and there's a, you can get that anywhere. Um, it, it, it's a Kroger, but anyway, butcher's twine and I've uh, I've got about three feet of it and I've wrapped it around the chicken breast in the back here. And what basically we're gonna do is pull everything together and you can see how by pulling it, it's pulled this together. So once I've done that, what we're gonna do is I've brought it around underneath the legs and then I'm gonna switch hands with this. Again, pulling everything together and then I'm simply going to tie the ends of the legs together. Like a good surgeon's knot there, there we go. And you can see how it pulls everything together and everything is about the same thickness now. And one more knot to make sure it doesn't come apart. Here we go, here we go. Okay, now um, the next thing is we need to season the bird on the outside. So. I know it recommends using some melted butter, and so I'm gonna put some melted butter over all of this. I think that'll help to brown it. It also helps the uh, seasonings to stick to it. 
Again, we're gonna use salt and pepper and also um, some more thyme, fresh thyme that's been chopped into small pieces here. You can use all sorts of things, but that, that seems to be something that's easy for me to, to use. So again, we're gonna salt and pepper it liberally all over. And a little bit of pepper. There we go. And then we're gonna take the chicken and we're gonna set the chicken on top of the vegetables. And again, what we're gonna do is we're going to put this in the oven at 425 for roughly an hour. It's a four and a half pound uh, chicken. Uh, I'm gonna check it in an hour if it's not quite done. And the reason I'll know if it's done is I take a meat thermometer, put it in the thickest part, which is where the thigh and the breast meet. And if it's 160 degrees, you know you've got it done. If that's the case, then we're gonna take it out. I'm gonna take the chicken off. I'll cover the vegetables so they stay warm with some aluminum foil. And then I'll also cover the chicken on a cutting board and allow it to rest for about 20 minutes. That'll allow all the juices to be reabsorbed into the uh, chicken so that it'll make it more juicy. Um, with this, I'd probably serve a non oaky Chardonnay or uh, an Oregon Pinot Noir. But it's something, as you see, it's very easily done. It didn't take a whole lot of time to do this. And um, again, the smell in the, the kitchen is gonna be great. I will show you a, a picture of it being done uh, on, the, uh, on the email itself. And that way you'll get a chance to see the final product. Anyway, cheers and thanks again for joining me.